Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mushroom Programming. In today's episode, I'll show you how you can create a table like this using Wix and actually manage it using a database. So you can actually change any information here or even add elements and it will automatically be added into your table. If this is something that you're interested in, please make sure you keep watching as it will be very beneficial for you and your website. Let's get started. Welcome back guys, so as you can see here, I've got an empty website, Wix website that I usually use for all these tutorials. And the first thing that I usually do or that I would usually do in order to do this tutorial is that I would go to dev mode and I would turn on dev mode. For our method of creating a table, this is very necessary. So go ahead and do that now. You just go to dev mode and then turn it on. For me, it says turn off because I already have it on. So now let's actually work with a table. Now to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm all, all you need to do is get basically go to the add sign over here. I'll click on it and let's just search up for a table and I'll click on it and you can select any table here for now. I'm just going to select the first one. So I'm just going to select this one and you can see here that it has some random information and let's just expand this for a second. And what I, the first thing that I'll do is I'll click on settings or layout, sorry, and I'll set it up to be automatic so that it only shows the information that we've got here. But if you try to actually go ahead and change this, you really can't. Like you can only change maybe the title, uh, so label the name, for example, and it would change to being name. But it doesn't actually show anything else. Like you can't actually manually come here and adjust this to say. David or Mark or anything like that and to do this you need to connect it to a database and I'll tell you why this is actually the best way now you might freak out when I say database but trust me this is the best and easiest way to manage this um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click on content manager over here I'll click on it and I'll click on create a collection so we're gonna create a collection and we can call it anything that we want so let's say this is a table that will show um products and their prices what we want to do is we want to call it products there we go and how many items do you want in your collection it will be multiple items let's go ahead and click on create and it will just take a few seconds in order for this to load but once it does it will take us to this sort of like excel sheet and over here we just need to add all the information that we want basically so we're going to be adding a title and then a value and maybe we can do it three times so let's go ahead first of all and just hide the title i don't want to show the title there we go okay let's just go ahead and add then so we can say something like product name text and here you can go ahead and call like specify what it is so is it a url is it a text is it an image whatever it is i'll just keep it as text and i'll click on save there we go. And I think now we can hide title. There we go. So we've got product name. Let's go ahead over here and let's say, for example, um, QTN for quantity. So how many do we actually have? And we can go ahead and change that into a number because it will be a number. And I'll click on save again. Uh, maybe over here we can say something like price. And this will just be a very quick tutorial price again let's put that as a number finally i want to show you with a url so let's just maybe say something like url and we're going to go ahead and click on url i'll save awesome so now let's just add three different ones so i'll add something like product one quantity let's just put three price 5.25 url so I'm just going to put a link here and to make things easier, I'm just going to go to my website, uh, maybe this one, I've got a bunch and I'm going to use this website. So this website, you can actually customize and purchase personalized gifts and so on. Make sure you give it a visit if you want. And then we'll just put it here. Awesome. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing over here. We'll put product to quantity let's put something like six price 1.29 <laughs> same thing for the euro i'm just going to put the same just because i want to show you how that looks like and finally product three one one thousand 
and let's just leave the URL empty this time just so I can show you how that looks. There we go. So I'm then going to go ahead and close this. And what I'm going to do this time now is I'm going to click now that we created our database. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add. I'm going to scroll down to content manager over here and I'm going to click on data set. There we go. Now I'm going to drag this just somewhere over here. Now this is represents which data set we want. So if I click on settings and then connect to our collection. So we want to connect it to a database. I'm going to go ahead and select the one that we just created, which was called products. There we go. Now I'm going to close this. Now watch this. It's just like magic. I'm going to click on the table. I'm going to click on this icon over here that says connect to data. Choose a data set. We're going to choose products data set. And as you can see, automatically, straight away, it took all the information, including the titles, from the database and presented it on our website, on our table. But we want to do some work here. So first of all, I want to remove title and I want to change the titles here. And I also want to add the URL. So let's do that. I'm going to click on the table again. I'm going to click on manage table and let's go ahead and remove the title. There we go. Very easy. Let's click over here, edit label, and I want it to be product name or maybe just product. Done quantity. Let's leave it the same and price. There we go. It's the same. Now let's say we want to add, um, actually let's change it to a capital P just so it looks a little bit more professional. Now let's say we want to add a field from our database. Well, first it has to actually exist on your database before you want to add it. Now we're going to click on connect to data and you can see here that we've got all our data or, or like the fields that we're pulling, but we can also click on add a column. And if I click on this, I can choose a column and over here we can choose URL and add column. And as you can see, it was again added straight away just over here. Now to change the name of it, we're just going to click on manage table. We're going to click on the three dots and I'm going to type in URL dash link. There we go. Done. Now, if I preview this right now, the best thing about this is that this is fully interactive. You can click on it and you can do anything you want. Now, because we specified that this is a URL in our database, I can even go ahead and click on it and it will take me to that link right straight away. There you go. Now, why is this actually the best way of doing it? Well, let me show you a bit of a trick. Now, let's say you want to go around and you want to change the information. Okay, so let's actually just first publish the website. And let's, yep, thank you. Thank you. And let's actually go to the live site here for a second. So this is our live website right here and it pulls the information that we've got. Now, let's say at some point you or the customer that you're creating this for, you want to edit this table Well, you don't have to go to the editor and you don't have to click on this and change it. All you need to do is you need to actually, so this is the website we're editing right now. You need to go on that website and I'll walk you through it. It's very simple. It's very nice. And you need to scroll down to content manager on the left side here. So I'll click on content manager and you'll find the database that you created such as products. So we're going to click on it. And you'll find that it has the items that we want. Now you can add it straight away. You can come over here and you can say product four. And let's just put four, three, five, whatever. And we'll just leave it like this. And guess what? When you come to this page now and you refresh it, it will automatically pull that new information straight away. So this is very cool. Um, it's very easy to use and it's very customizable. And it also means that you don't have to go to the editor every single time you want to come and add an element. You can even filter it and sort it and change how it looks like. For example, you can set it up to be like a list or like a gallery. There we go. And we can just have the normal Excel sheet. You can also add items by importing them. So let's say you have a list of products, like a thousand products, and you just want to add it straight away. Well, you can go over here, import the items, do your connections, and it will automatically appear on that table over here. Now, just one last thing that I want to show you is how you can actually sort how this information gets presented. For example, let's say you want it to be product one to product four. Well, let's go back to the editor. And unfortunately, this time we do actually have to go back to the editor. 
And what we, were get, what we are going to do is we're going to click on our data set over here. We're going to click on settings. And here we can add a filter. So we can, for example, show that we want only items that are above three in quantity or something like that. But we want it to be sorted. So I'm going to click add sort. Choose field. Well, let's have a look. Created date. And I want it to be old to new. Add sort. Awesome. And now you can see that it goes from product one to product four. Now all I need to do is publish. Go back to my site and refresh. And maybe just refresh again. There we go. And now it's actually showing product one, two, three, four, because it goes from oldest to newest. And that's basically it for this episode. So now I've showed you how to create a table, connect a database to it, show that information, sort it out, filter it out. Go ahead, explore it, explore the designs. And I hope you really do use this because using tables on your website is a great method of showing data and attracting more customers. Thank you and see you in the next episode.